Hey, 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 everybody, all you lovely people, what's happening out there today? Um, hey, did you know that January 4th was National Trivia Day? That was like a week and a half ago. I totally blew it. I missed it. Uh, what an opportunity to dive into some Cliff Clavin type facts. Anyway, I love history. I guess that's the same as trivia. Um, facts, right? So um, anyway, I think every day is a great day for just random facts, history, whatever. And uh, so today, if you, if you like, if you like history, if you like Minnesota history, um, Dakota County history, uh, by all means, I think this is going to be a good video for you. If you love mountain biking or off-road biking, uh, if you love houses, I'm a realtor, so yeah, I love houses. Uh, or if you just like to eat, I think most people would fall in that camp for sure. If you if you if you if you like nice restaurants, whatever. I think it's going to be a good video. So just strap in, buckle up, let's go. Did you know there's a town called Mendota? I think a lot of people know there's a town called Mendota Heights. Not a huge town, but most people are aware of it that live in the metro area anyway. Um, but yeah, there's a town called Mendota, which was there before Mendota Heights. In fact, it was established in 1812. It was more of a fur trading village at the time. And then 1822 started getting some permanent residents. And uh, at that time it was called St. Peter's, not to be confused with the St. Peter down by Mankato, that's different, but it was called St. Peter's. Um, and then in 1837, it actually took on the name Mendota. And that's a Dakota word for mouth of the river because that's where the Minnesota River and the Mississippi River kind of converge and so it makes sense the mouth of the river but I'm gonna be I'm gonna be highlighting Mendota today not Mendota Heights but Mendota it's a, it's a sweet quaint little spot in the map in fact uh, I live 15 20 minutes from there and it had all kinds of history I wasn't even aware of so maybe you already knew about it maybe not but that's what I'm gonna be talking about today Okay, so I'm not trying to create like a history channel or anything like that. I do want to share three interesting facts about Mendota. Today's number one interesting fact about Mendota is that it has the Sibley House, which is considered to be Minnesota's oldest private residence, built somewhere between 1835 and 1836. The Sibley Historic Site is the site of Henry Hastings Sibley's home who was the regional manager of the American Fur Company, and actually he was Minnesota's first governor, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's one of the 26 historical sites that are operated by the Minnesota Historical Society. It's located in what is now the city of Mendota, and the site consists of four limestone buildings and a large green space uh, lawn area. So uh, three of the buildings are actually open for touring, including a fur company cold store built in 1843, and the 1840 home, 1840 home of fur trader John Baptiste de Fairball. And the second intriguing fact in this video pertains to a local favorite among restaurant goers. Nestled in Mendota, Axel's River Grill is a higher end restaurant that holds a significant place in Dakota County's history, standing out as one of the oldest restaurants, formerly known as the Parker House. This venue was established in 1941 and has seamlessly evolved alongside the ever-changing landscape of this quaint historic town. Okay, so the third and final and what I like to think is the most interesting fact about Mendota in this video is uh, it pertains to this trail system here called the Minnesota River Bottoms. And uh, you can jump on in Mendota. In fact, uh, going back to what I said earlier, you can see where the Mississippi River connects with the Minnesota. I'll just back out a little bit. So this is the Minnesota River, and it actually turns and, and flows north, and it connects with uh, the Mississippi, which is flowing south. And, and right here in Mendota is where they connect. Again, the mouth of the, the, mouth of the river. Um, so if you were to look at the town of Mendota itself, yeah, right here is where the Axles restaurant is. And uh, a little bonus information here, a little bonus fact is right up in this area on the, on the um, high side of town, you have the oldest church in Minnesota. I, it's a Catholic church and I'm spacing, you know, it's St. Peter's Catholic Church. 
Yeah, it's right here. That's the oldest church in Minnesota. But this trail system starts right here down by the Sibley House. In fact, if you kind of look at these photos here, that's the Sibley House. And then this is a tunnel that will um, take you. So on the other side of this tunnel is the Sibley House. You ride through here, and that's where the trail begins, right in this little area. And so anyway, let me show you kind of where it goes. I'll back out a little bit more. You can take it south, uh, southwest, right? And so it'll go under the 494 bridge over to Cedar 77. There's another parking lot there. You can jump on that. It's a pretty common spot to start. And then you can take it over to 35W and then continue on over to uh, Bloomington Ferry Bridge which is right by 169. So that'll give you a little snippet on where that trail system is. Super popular in uh, the winter and in uh, the, the summer a little bit, gets a little bit overgrown, but fall and winter I think is the most popular time. There's tons and tons of like eagle watching here. I think last weekend I was out there, I must have seen like 75 eagles. So crazy with um, just wildlife. And uh, anyway, so you take this out here, you can jump on a connector and the connector is the Minnesota Valley State Trail. And that really kind of begins right where the Minnesota River Bottoms Trail left off, right around the Bloomington Ferry Bridge. There's a parking lot there if you want to start there. Um, it's a little bit hit and miss. You have to kind of do your homework. Um, I think there's a few gaps here and there. I personally haven't done the whole thing at once, but it'll take you through Shock Beach, Aska, Carver, Jordan area down to Bell Plain. So, oh my gosh, if you were to start in Mendota and head all the way down to Bell Plain, I think that's like 60 some miles off road on bike, which is pretty awesome. The cool thing about this trail is that it's really for everybody. It's for all skill levels. Um, you could be a fitness fanatic and get out there and, you know, hit some PRs or you could go with some buddies or, you know, maybe your significant other and just slow roll. You know, like I said, look at the Eagles. Um, just stop. I see people on this trail having picnics. Um, you see walkers out there, a lot of bikers, but um, just everything. There's uh, bird watchers, tons of that happening out there. Overall, it's just a great um, asset to the community. So there you go. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any interest in diving into the topics more, such as the Sibley House or uh, Axel's Restaurant, or if you want to see that uh, River Bottoms video, by all means, I'll post the links in the description below. But until next time, Gail Strong with Fathom Realty. Take care.